Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I just want to keep it super chill and we're going to do some painting in my sketchbook. My grandma actually gave me these out of her garden which are beautiful hydrangeas and I thought we could paint them together. So I'm going to be using acrylics today which have been given to me by Arteza. So a huge thank you to them and for sponsoring this video. So let's get stuck straight into it and let's get painting. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just lightly sketch out the areas, so I'm just going to use sort of like circles slash shapes to just map out where I'm going to have each flower. And I'm going to have it overlap in the seam because I really like it when sketchbooks just don't stick by the rules basically <laughs> and sort of spread out across the page. Okay, so I've got pretty much my basic shape. So I'm just gonna take a really cheap brush. This one was literally a few quid off Amazon by Royal and Langnickel. Very, very cheap brush, and I'm just going to rinse it off in some water. I'm just gonna pop in a background. So for now, I'm gonna go in with some gray, and I may mix it with a bit of white. I'm just gonna do very messily just go around the edges to create a sort of background for us to base the painting upon and today's paints and sketchbook are both provided by Arteza so I'll pop all the links in the description box if you want to go and check any of these products out and you can see that I'm not really using a lot of water here because we're doing this on paper. Um, it is watercolor paper sketchbook, but uh, I don't want it to like wrinkle and bend. So I'm using minimal water here just to help the paint sort of move across the canvas. I find that our teaser paints are very viscous anyway, so they don't need a lot of water to become painterly. Okay, so now I've done that outline, I'm going to wash off my brush and we can begin on the flowers. So for the flowers, a filbert brush is going to be really helpful. So this is a Winsor & Newton Winton filbert in size 6. And you can see that basically there's a very square edge to it, but then it's very flat from the side. So this is going to help us because we're going to be building up the petals using the shape of the brush like that. Give your brush a little rinse off. Okay, I think I'm going to start off with the leaves here because I want the flowers to sort of overlap above the leaves. So I'm going to zoom you in here right now. I'm just going to start painting in those leaves. I'm going to start adding some of the darker green. Thank you. 
and then using an even smaller brush this is just a little tiny round brush and then I'm going to use a lot of white with a little bit of green and then I'm just going to pop in the little details Obviously I'm using um, a still life here, so I'm using a reference of what's really in front of me. So although I can show you like in the frame what I'm painting, it will look completely different from the angle of the camera than it will from my eye, if that makes sense. So I'll pop the picture up of the hydrangeas and you can screenshot it for your own personal use. Okay, so using our medium sized brush again, this is the size 6, I'm just going to give that a rinse and dab the wetness off just to make sure it's a little bit damp. I'm going to start building up these flowers. So first I'm going to focus on the blue one here. First what I'm going to do is take the darker blue and even mix a little bit of purple with that. Capture some of the shadows that I can see in between the petals before we start and just going to pop those in. And then rinse off my brush. Then I'm going to use a mixture of, what are these colours? Pearl Sapphire Blue and Pearl Sky Blue. And I'll pop all the colours that I've used in the description box. I'm going to get that loaded up on my paintbrush on the end and use the brush to create the petals. So you can see that as you dab the brush on, it sort of creates these little petals that you can then start building up. Okay, and as we've done that colour, next we're going to move on to a lighter blue. So next I'm going to take the sky blue and add in some white. I'm not even going to mix the colours properly. And then I'm going to use that same technique.
Okay, so now I'm gonna let that completely dry because I've put quite a lot of paint on there. And then once it's dry, we're just gonna add a few little bits of details just to make it a little bit less abstract and a bit more realistic. So I'm gonna wait for that to completely dry now. And looking at my reference, which is obviously the flowers in real life, and then looking at my painting, I'm just going to keep comparing the two and sort of add some little bits of details just to make it a bit more, you know, realistic. Okay, and lastly what I'm gonna do, you can see that right in the center of the blooms there's some little dots from, I'm guessing, like the center of each individual little flower. So I'm gonna take a little paintbrush again, just make sure it's a little bit damp, and I'm just gonna go in and add a few little dots. And then what I'm gonna do is take the white and do the same thing. So just add a few little dot highlights just around the little dots we've already just done. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this painting come together and I encourage all of you just to get your sketchbook out, don't be afraid and just get painting. Thank you so much guys for the amazing support. Love you lots and have a great week. See ya, bye.